Hi, this is Lennon McCarthy. This is part 23 of my Mass Effect playthrough. Last time I finished up on Novaria and I'm back on the Normandy, as you can see. I'm gonna go to the Citadel next, but I wanna check something. Uh, so I think I missed some of Rex's dialogue from being rude to him. So I just wanna check on that in case it opens up a side quest or something. I think I missed some of Ashley's from being rude to her too, but then she said she didn't want to talk right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. It was pretty funny when I was rude to him though. What do you want, Shepard? <laughs> Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. <laughs> why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. Interesting. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the From few Subway? warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. <laughs> I take it the warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. <laughs> a meeting on neutral ground. A crush like Liara he has on me. To talk. We met at the hollows. Near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from. And where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. It's a you trap. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well... Home? There are some laws that even we hold sacred. What? Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life. Sounds like some dark shadows shit. Before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left. And that's why I'll never go back. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if any of this is new or not. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You're trying to make me cry, <laughs> I've got some unfinished business with my family. If I do, I'll ball. get that Kevin Nealon smile. <laughs> what kind of business? Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. Okay. What's so important about this armor? It's a relic. Useless, really. But it was worn by five generations of my family before the war. It's rightfully mine. Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. 
we weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Actus, a Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. He's got several bases where he stores his goods. All fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. Okay. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander, I want to be there when you find him. Alright. So long, Rex. Shepard. Okay, so there is a side quest there. I must have a ton of side quests by now. All right, stop freezing. Looking for the one of the. It's one of them that's on the Citadel. Uh, not the fan. <laughs> All right. I, I don't know. Oh, okay. This is it. I already talked to her? I don't even remember that. Maybe I did. I, I don't even remember talking to her. Alright, well I wanted to go and do some shopping. And also wander around and see if there's more side quests. I think I'm going to go to the Citadel anyway. I think I scanned the planets before, but it was a long time ago. I'm gonna just scan a couple. Alright, I'm sure I must have scanned the other ones. Message from Alliance Command coming in. Oh, I'm sure it it's urgent. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. <laughs> How come every time there's a problem, you end up running to me? Your respect, to Shepard. And this isn't some run of the mill mission. There's an Alliance training on the council now. Test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Wow. Well, I don't know if you can hear it that well. There's some funky music coming in. <laughs> I've Are gone you telling rogue me too. this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware. Neither am I. can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. 
We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Why don't you just nuke the whole you. planet? I know Spectre's answered the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facility's weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Alright. Giant suction cups. Okay. So this thing I'm looking for some armor. So I think I'm gonna bring Garrus and Tally because they have alien armor in case I wanted to buy any for them. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. So I'm not sure about like electronics, if it stacks what it does. I'll probably give them some points in that anyway. I wonder if hacking stacks. I have no idea. But I like hacking. I like the shield batteries the best. Oh well. Hardened weave. Armor plating. I don't even know what the difference is. 12%. Okay, it's against biotic and tech attacks. Okay. Let's look over this. Well. 
I don't know, there's so much stuff. I guess I'll give him that too. Um, I guess that's good for now. So I'll do a save. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. <laughs> Admiral, I'm on urgent business with the Citadel. <laughs> Is there something you need? Yeah, I'm doing some shopping. Let's get one thing clear, Shepard. You might be a specter to the aliens, but to me, you're just another junior officer. Be respectful. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. Yeah, uh, okay. I wasn't keen on it either, but there are advantages to being <laughs> above the law. Don't let the title go to your head. No one's above the law. Spectres I don't are. begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. This ship saved our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your reports. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. <laughs> I wonder if I can tell them now. Normandy is an Alliance warship, but she's on loan to the Citadel. That means she's not in your chain of command. I believe there's something wrong with my ears. Did you just contradict me? <laughs> this ship is council property right now. So, respectfully, please clear the gangway. Have it your way, Commander. <laughs> but expect me to file a report on this. <laughs> Pissing off admirals, that's pretty funny. Only got two renegade points. I think I usually always let him inspect the ship, but that's pretty funny. Come on, where's the elevator music? Garris, if you do not mind me asking, how do you feel about hunting a Torian? Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Things are different among my people. There are so few of us. We are expected to be loyal, even when it is difficult. Okay. Just the elevator with no music. At least there was some small talk, that's good. Okay. Commander Shepard? Kalisa bin seen in Aljilani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? <laughs> what sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. <laughs> Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? We all know it should have happened years ago. I hope the council realizes that we won't sit at the kids' table forever. Some believe that without firm action on our part, the Council will continue to treat us like poor relations. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? <laughs> I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Uh... <laughs> I've had enough of your snide insinuations. <laughs> that was you totally gratuitous. <laughs> she didn't say anything that bad. I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Your career is over. <laughs> Maybe I could have gone a little further with the questions. That's pretty funny, though. 
I didn't think she was rude to me. <laughs> Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Okay. Okay, now what else? Light armor, human. So Spectre armor three. Let's see if there's anything else. Omni tool. That looks pretty good. Hmm. That's fairly good. Okay, Onyx 4. The Spectre armor is better. Okay, Scorpion 6. It's hard to keep track of all this. 22, 204, 30. Okay, so that's better than the Spectre Armor. It's kind of expensive, but I have a lot of credits right now. Okay. So that's better, but I don't know if I have enough money. I think I'll buy, um, let's see, I think I'll buy this. It's probably going to be, so this is too expensive now. not really particularly better than what Garrus has already. Okay. Okay, so I got some better armor. It looks the same. I should wander around to more missions. I guess I'll go out here. I don't know if there's anything in CSEC happening. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Yep, sure do miss these Citadel elevators. I love this song. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll head towards the wards.
Anybody want to involve me in your pointless drama? Preach, brother. Where there was only darkness, the enkindlers gave light. Alright, maybe I'll just go to the wards now. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. You guys are kind of clashing with my color scheme. I don't know. saying that hey been a long time huh <laughs> have we met uh, I guess you don't remember me lieutenant Zabaleta I, I worked with your mother we served on the carrier Einstein well that was 12 13 years back though you were just a kid then <laughs> sorry I don't remember you hey call your mom up and ask She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short on money these days. I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's got to eat, right? Oh, so, so you're a junkie. Could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. <laughs> 20 isn't enough to get you back on your feet, is it? No, no, no. I I'll just get a, a meal. You know. All right. Yeah. It's not a problem. You're a good kid, you know that? Thanks. You ever want to come by and talk, I'll be here. Huh? <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? I like weird beggars. Alright. Everything else happening? I don't know, the, the words confuse me a little bit because they have an elevator, then a short hallway, and then another elevator. A Unless, did I just take the same one back? Problem after See, that's the problem. I'm confused. I think we're going down, Hanar though. Them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Are we going down or up? It's, it's like an optical illusion. I think we're going down. Okay. Okay, there's that alleyway. Okay, yeah, we're in the wards. Gonna wander around, see if there's anything going on. I already scanned all the keepers. Okay, I'm gonna take some more metagel. What's up? I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will. Your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you come in. <laughs> Every Damn. time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. Just tell me what's going on. 
I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license. They'll shut my clinic down. <laughs> Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. All right. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him, but won't they expose my past? <laughs> they won't bother you again. I guarantee it. Permanently. I see. Maybe it's better if I don't know anymore. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan. Down oh, in I know place. him. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Um. Eh, I don't know. She just sells, like, medical uh, upgrades. I don't know if I feel like buying any right now. Don't worry. I'll take Very care expensive. of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. People are pretty quiet. This is an approval purchase. <laughs> it's a bank statement. It showed that I bought something from you when I bought it. Well, thank you for buying it from me, but this still doesn't prove that you purchased that. I what? <laughs> but I didn't buy anything else here. How do I know that? If you don't have the proof of purchase, I can't help you. But sorry. Well, I can't help you. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Sure. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Okay. Assassin 6. Well, I'm not going to buy more light armor right now because I just bought it. Okay. Can't remember. My, I think mine's called Scorpion. I don't think it's a. Oh, it's Conrad Werner again. I've been waiting for you to get back. I've got an idea and I wanted to run it by you. What's on your mind? With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Where's the option to say yes? <laughs> Why would you want to be a specter, Conrad? Because I wanted to show the council what humanity can do, just like you. I'd make a great specter. I read about what you did on Torfin. I'm not afraid to do whatever it takes to get the job done. <laughs> Conrad, you have no idea what it takes to get the job done. What? No, please. Please don't hurt me. Why are you doing this? I'm only doing this because I can't say yes and make you a specter. This is how a gun in your face feels. <laughs> it happens to me every day. You can't handle this. I thought you were a hero. <laughs> Heroes don't do things like this. I wish I'd never met you. <laughs> Sounds like I might have made him cry. Would have been better if he saw like tears streaming down his face though. Alright, let's talk to Moreland. Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Marlin. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Marlin. 
I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone, or you'll have to deal with me. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. What, is she's French? I think people know that. Her secret stays buried, or I bury you. Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Get out of here with your purple Thank teeth. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. <laughs> what do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Alright, let's see what he has to sell. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. I don't like how it has it in three different categories. Um, let's try this. I can't remember. Tally only wear light armor. It doesn't even say. It says Hydra 1. It doesn't say what kind of armor it is. Uh, well, this is better. I can't afford it, though. Okay. Um, that's a little better too. I can afford it. Um, I don't know. We 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 have uh, we have three different categories. Yes, human. You need something. Yes. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. If I'm not mistaken, I think there are non-human ar armors in all three categories, which makes no sense. Okay, so that's Turian. Can't afford it. Okay. Um, let's just look at this. Eh. Yes, you have to human. talk to him three different yes. times to look at his three categories. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Okay. And he has non-human armor in all three categories. <laughs> all right. Look at um. Okay, so she's wearing light armor. I think she can only wear light armor. Alright, I'm not going to bother buying any right now. I find a lot of armor in the game anyway. So we should go back up to Dr. Michelle. Where? Is it over here? Alright, I'm just going to talk to her and then I'll Include the episode. Oh, sure. I can return that for you. <laughs> Thanks. It hasn't worked well since I bought it. He's doing a return now. Are you refunding Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. It's about time. I've already helped you before. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. No, it's probably some other Baines. a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. We should follow up with Captain Anderson. 
We'll see what the captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? No. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. Okay. Alright, so I think I'm gonna do a save and end the episode here. I'll see I might wander around the citadel a little bit more next time, we'll see.